What is going on? It's Garrett. Let's do a hero spotlight on Gul'dan. Let's see. Gul'dan is an orc. And he's using fail and shadow spells. So let's take a look at that. Let's look at the orcs. I have an orc team. They are a lot of fun. On my team, I have these three protectors right here. Thrall, I, I like Thrall. He's cool. Uh, for the orcs, you got Blademaster. You got Rokara. Um, these two are on the team. And Gul'dan is an orc also. So you can see you've got two blue rares. You can consider Sour Fang if you want. Just personally, I'm using these two. But I heard last night another Twitch streamer using, I think he said he's using Sour Fang. And uh, not using Gruel, um, but using these three here. Now, let's take a look at Fell. For Fell, we got a, he has a Fell spell most likely. Manoroth probably has a Fell spell. That's why he's popping up. Why is a Murloc popping up? No idea. It looks like their search window here is pulling up some... Let's see. Do we have a fail spell? No. Yes, we have one here. And for the casters, only Gul'dan. Now let's look up Shadow because Gul'dan is also Shadow. And... Oh, you got the Lich King. That'll work. For fighters, you got Sylvanas. Okay. Eh. And for your casters for Shadow, you're going to have Gul'dan, of course, Natalie, Tamzin, and I think Vol'jin has... Yeah, Vol'jin is all Shadow. So we can see off the bat that Shadow has a decent team. Let's go back to Gul'dan. Orc, Fell, Shadow, extremely versatile. Now, let's look at the Fell Bolt. It's doing 16 damage. That means when you attack a red, it's doing 32 damage. It's at 10 speed, which is bad. So he's going to fire last, if he's still alive. And what I wanted to talk to you about today is, God put it on my heart to do a video on the topic of apologizing. The topic is saying you're sorry. When you make a mistake, do you apologize to that person? Or when you mess up, when you do evil from time to time, when you hurt somebody, whether it's on purpose, on an accident, you slipped up, you backslid, are you apologizing? Or do you have so much pride that your pride is dominating you, your pride is smothering you, and your own pride won't let you say you're sorry? That's what this video is about. It's a short, short topic. Reign of Destruction. Deal 12 damage to a random enemy. Now check this out. Repeat. For each fell ability, you've cast this turn. Okay, we'll keep an eye on this. Let's look at one more. Siphon Life. Deal 10 damage. Restore that much health to all friendly orcs and demons. So Gul'dan is on my demon team. Gul'dan is on my orc team. This is an AoE attack heal. It's not quite as good as Anduin's because Anduin's attack is AoE and his heal is AoE. So Anduin's is a little bit better. And I'll tell you what, let me share with you this. When we mess up, we want to apologize as fast as we can. 
One of the reasons why is because God wants you to. Another is, if your pride is dominating you and you can't apologize, you're going to be tied up in demonic chains of bondage. You're going to be in demonic bondage until you say you're sorry. Now, I'm not saying that this will happen to you every time. I'm talking about the demonic bondage. Most of the time, you are going to have a demon with you, tormenting you in one way or another until you say you're sorry. And you're going to notice that when you say you're sorry, that tormenting nine times out of ten is going to immediately go away and you're going to feel better either in your chest, in your stomach, in your head, your mind, your brain, in your head. You're going to feel better. Nine times out of ten, you're going to notice that you're doing better. Let's t- um, Here, let's comment on this. Deal 16 damage. Anduin's deals less damage, but it heals a random human. Reign of Destruction. Deal 12 damage to a random enemy and repeat if you've cast another fell ability. In my opinion, maybe not that great. Anduin is buffing his human team by having them take less damage. I would say Anduin's is a little bit better. Now we got the attack heal ability. We already said Anduin's is better because Anduin's attack here is AOE and Siphon Life is not at single damage. And then both heals are AOE. So Anduin's is a little bit better. Anduin is a human and holy. Goldon is an orc, a fell, and a shadow, and you can put him on a demon team too. So Goldon can go on four different teams, and if you want, you can just plug and play him. If you plug and play him, this won't work that well at all. In fact, this won't work at all. So if you plug and play him, you would be doing that for this. 16 damage, 32 to a red. Very good. Okay, where are we? Blood of Manoroth. Reign of Destruction deals one more damage. Reign of Destruction here, one more damage. I'm not impressed. Amulet of Souls. Siphon Life deals one damage. Um, one damage. That means it's healing one more to three to two different members. Not that good in my opinion, at least on level one. Not that good for level ones. Let me share a true story with you. I picked up my dad and we're in the car in the parking lot. So we're going about five miles an hour. We get flash attacked. That's a demonic flash attack that comes out of nowhere. And we're having a terrible argument in the car. In fact, the argument was so bad that even though I was driving about five miles an hour, and even though back then my dad was about 87 years old, he opened up the door and hopped out of the car while I was moving. That's how angry my dad got. And I was furious. I was so angry and I went to the store. My dad hopped out while I was driving. I go to the store and I realized I had to say I was sorry. So thank God that the Holy Spirit told me, Garrett, call your brother. Tell him to tell dad that I'm coming back to apologize. I'll be there in 30 minutes. So my brother (laughs) broke the ice, talked to my dad, got him ready to hear my apology. Now, was it my dad's fault? It doesn't matter. Was it my fault? It doesn't matter. You got to apologize. God wants you to apologize. God will tell you to apologize. 
And when I got back home, it was so hard to go to his room and say I was sorry. Why? Why was it so hard? Because of the pride in me? It's because of the pride. The pride will smother out your humbleness. You see, when you apologize, it's a form of humbleness. You are working on humbling yourself as you say you're sorry to someone else. And I had to fight to tell Dad I was sorry. Little did I know um, he was going to die a little bit later. Um, amen to that. Okay, I had to take a phone call uh, from my realtor. So here we go. Let's continue now. Let's go to the staff of chaos. Passive, I like that. After an orc dies, gain plus one fell damage. I don't like that. Let me tell you why. Goldan is usually going to die first. Because your enemy is going to attack Gul'dan first and get rid of him. So, I don't see Staff of Chaos working all that well. I mean, if I'm fighting an Orc, Demon, Fell, or Shadow team, um, I'm going to try to get rid of Gul'dan. I'll tell you that right now. Of course, it depends on the team makeup. But Gul'dan is going to be one of your highest priorities to get rid of. And I'll say goodbye by telling you this. Spouses have a very, very difficult time apologizing to one another, not only all over the USA, but all over the world. And the reason why is our pride is off the charts and it's smothering one another and it's stopping one another from saying they're sorry and they're not humbling themselves and the pride gets worse and worse the demonic chains of bondage inside of both people get worse and worse and everything just starts going downhill from there so you can see just how important it is to apologize and to say you're sorry and it's a very powerful form of humbleness. Okay, Goldon is looking very good. Maybe a step, step and a half below Anduin, but he's looking very good and has a lot of versatility here. Look at that. Okay, praise God. Amen. <laughs> 